Okay, so this greenhouse is not heated. I don't have any heat sinks. I used to have a container of water um, that I would leave inside and that didn't work out so well. I started having issues with algae and mosquitoes. Um, but this summer, or this winter, I had issues with rats or gophers getting into my greenhouse and killing a lot of my seedlings. Uh, which is pretty unfortunate because I think most of these would have survived the winter in this greenhouse. Um, but with the cold weather and then also pest pressures, I think um, that really did it for some of these plants. So we're going to go inside and then I'm going to take out the plants that didn't survive so you can see kind of the variety that didn't make it either from gophers, rats, or just the cold. This is what it looks like. Um, it's not that organized. I had a lot of things on shelves and then I had things on the ground. I didn't put a proper base in this greenhouse so it was just on the ground. That's, that's my bad. And I didn't put rocks or gravel underneath. But this is what it looks like. I have some orchids up here. that I, I turned off the water um, during the winter and some of these are just not doing so well. But to the fruit trees I have sugar apple in the back got two of them I have this what is this this is not Dioica what is this I think this is Pashte yeah forget the scientific name um, but this is an Anona I have a mango seedling back there and then I have a bunch of seedlings that uh, didn't make it and these these plants had nice stems and something came and ate it all the way down to their base. Same with this here too. Um, same with my mame sapote that I got from a grocery store, see that? Just chew down to the base. I have an Inga cinnamomea, again, chew down to the leaves and the stems. So pretty sad about that. And pretty much anything that was on the floor got messed up. And uh, pretty sad, chewed up. Here you go, I got more uh, Pashte. I think it's Anona scleroderma now that I remember it, but see this, got chewed up. So pretty sad and everything else, either from the cold or the rats or the gopher. Surprisingly, I have a Marong from Hapa Joe that's still doing okay. I used to have a petal eye up here somewhere. I don't know where it went. Uh, and uh, my breadfruit. I mean, I, I had high hopes for this one in here. But uh, it didn't make it. Okay, so while I was taking out some of the pots, I noticed that there were rat droppings. And so that leads me to believe that these were rats and not gophers. Also, when I was removing some of those pavers, rats ran. So, what I did was I just moved some dirt over, broke up the nests, and hopefully they don't come back. I am going to put some uh, rat traps, see if that'll help. But here are the plants that did not survive. The first one. It's a breadfruit, like I said earlier. <clears throat> Let's see what this one was. Unmarked. Hmm, another unmarked one. This might have been Kambuka, actually. This one, the top was ripped off. It's a wax apple from Puerto Rico. And this is where it gets really sad. Anona crassifolia, this was nice and tall. Got chewed down. Petal eye from Anderson Tropicals. This is probably cold damage. Chupa Chupa from Hoppa Joe's. Didn't make it. A Dugetia. Cold damage probably. Here is, well, I'll go move to that later. 
there's the Nona ruculosa. Now there's some some new leaves coming out, so I think that there might be hope for this one. Same with this pasta from Fruit Lovers. It's still green at the top, so I still have hope. And this Anona Cacans. I thought I saw another leaf. So, oh yeah, so there may be hope for this one too. Marijuana. This one I just gave it too much fertilizer and it just pooped. This was a fun one. Unfortunately, it got chewed back. This was a CLG. Um, which was a red Atamoya seedling from my friend Chris in Guam. Um, so, pretty sad about this one. Taiwan Tiger. I don't even know if this can be saved. Oh, well the bark is still green. We'll save that. And then the last one, Reticulata from Florida. The Aiden from Aerie in Florida. Unfortunately, this didn't make it. Yeah. So those are the ones that didn't make it. And I have a bunch that did. So I'll just highlight a few of these and then put them all back. Okay, so if you're on the fence for some of these, planting some of these or, or taking care of it in SoCal, um, these survived in my unheated greenhouse. So first off we have Artocarpus hirsutus. Did okay. We have Marong. Barely surviving, but did much better than Petal Eye. Keladang. This one's barely hanging on, but I have a second one that I think looks much, be much better. So the artocarpuses that I have, the breadfruit and the um, Petal Eye did not make it, but those, the Marong, the Keladang, and the Hirsutus survived. And then also, Quai muck looks pretty good, but I have one grown outside too, unprotected. So I think this one has been tested to be able to grow outside. Fruiting it is a different story. We have a red pulis on here, still green. So I have hope that this may bounce back, but we'll see. We have. Pandan does okay, and lastly, Rilinia did just fine. Now I have a bunch of other stuff. But they're just mango and anona seedlings, so I'm not going to highlight those. Those are pretty tried and true to soak out, but these were pretty interesting. So I'm glad that they survived, and I'll take care of them better this coming spring and summer okay and that's it for today cleaned it up a bit something is better than nothing so this is all clear now and uh, this isn't the prettiest or the most organized greenhouse but uh, this is what I'm working with and you know this is an honest look of what my greenhouse looked like before and what it looks like now and let me know in the comments if you have any questions i'll do my my best to answer them i'll do another update spring and summer thanks